Shalom, shalom, Shabbat shalom. Peace be unto you and have a peaceful Sabbath. Judah Jackson checking on my peeps. How's everybody doing, family? Oh, it's a beautiful time of the year, spring. It's so much hope, resurrection, things that winter made you think or made look like it was dead like the trees. The trees are, are budding, the flowers are blooming, the rain is refreshing the earth. It's such a hopeful time. But still, there is a lot going on. The war is raging um, continually between Russia and Ukraine. Over 30,000 soldiers on both sides have died. Over 6,000 um, casualties of uh, just lay people. But it's the best of times and the worst of times. But it's still the best of times because God is on the throne and he's with us, family. If you haven't been uh, following this series, we're talking about developing intimacy with God. And today is the, starting on some of the benefits. And today, wisdom is what we're talking about. Now, let's have a quick review. Our foundation scripture is James 4, 8. Draw nigh to God and God will draw nigh to you. That word draw nigh means to connect or attach to relationship and also to approach. And we talked about two strategies or two ways to develop a uh, relationship with God. And one is to make it personal. Ask them things that's in your heart. Two is meditate, to focus your mind or thoughts for a period of time on God. And there are different types of wisdom. One type of wisdom is God can give you knowledge of your, like your health, your basic health. In Daniel uh, 1 12, it says he was taken into captivity in uh, Babylon and he didn't want to eat the captive's food because he felt that it was going to defile his temple. So he asked the guard to let him eat the way he wanted to. Daniel 1 12 says, please test your servant for 10 days and give us nothing but water and vegetables to eat. And after 10 days, verse 15 says, his countenance was brighter. He looked healthier than those that ate the rich food of the king, which was probably meat and wine and fat and cheese and sweets. Another example of the wisdom that can be applied to your, your health. I read an account of a man that went to the doctor and he found out that he has cancer and he was dying. They gave him a short time to live. They, they said, there's nothing we can do. It's too far gone. So the man, he remembered a verse called uh, from uh, Proverbs 17, 22. A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. So what he did, he rented dozens of comedies. He locked himself in his house for a whole weekend and laughed all weekend. And that next week when he went to the doctor, that cancer began to remit, it began to change. Eventually he got his healing. Now that is amazing. Uh, another way, another type of wisdom is God can give you creative ideas for inventions. Proverbs 8, 12 says, I wisdom dwell in prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. And that word uh, witty invention means power of devising. It's like engineering. When you engineer, you create from the ground up and it's a broad knowledge that you have. You have to know physics, you have to know architecture, uh, you have to know a lot of different types of things. Sometimes geology, like in Los Angeles when you build those skyscrapers, you have to know those civil engineers, you have to know about geology because they have to be uh, built according to, uh, to uh, structures that will withstand an earthquake. So an example of this, I don't know if you've heard of O.J. Simpson's story, but when he was born, he was born severely pigeon-toed, crippled, and his, his doctor didn't even think he'd be able to walk, much less run and play uh, football. But his mother, a CNA, she devised, she invented some braces, put it on his legs and put, put, the, put, her, uh, put the shoes on the opposite feet. And well, the rest is history. He was a Heisman Trophy winner, great NFL uh, football player. So God gave her that wisdom. And another way, another type of uh, wisdom, it will give you riches. 
Proverbs 24, 4 says, By knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant things, riches. An example of this is the story of Joseph when he was in captivity in Egypt. He interpreted Pharaoh's dream. And actually, God gave him that wisdom, and that's going to another revelation to the, to the next type. But for right now, we're looking at riches. But anyway, he told Pharaoh the dream meant that there was going to be seven years of plenty and seven years of famine. And he told Pharaoh what to do to save all of Egypt. Genesis 41, 34 says, Let Pharaoh appoint an officer over the land to collect one-fifth of the produce of the land and excuse me oh lord where's my other card one fifth of the produce of the land of egypt in the seventh excuse me in the seventh plentiful years and they did this and they withstood that seven year famine and because of this Pharaoh gave him a mighty promotion. He made him second to himself. Genesis 41, 40 says, Pharaoh said to him, you shall be over my house and all my people shall be ruled according to your word. Only in regards to the throne will I be greater than you. Woo, what a promotion. <laughs> and the final um, one of the most fantastic ways that wisdom can be given is God himself again can reveal these things to you you can't figure it out you can't study and get this it's just God will reveal it sometimes he sends the actual message through an angel but this is John the revelator he wrote all the book of revelations revelation 1 1 says the revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified by his angel to his servant, John. And that's how he wrote the book of Revelations. Like 2,000 years in advance of what we're living out right now is being unfolded right now. And also he revealed this to Daniel 600 years before. Daniel lived between 620 uh, to 538 BC. Daniel 12.4 um, says, when the angel was talking to him about the Revelations, but you, Daniel, roll up the seal, the words of these scrolls until, excuse me, let me back up. But you, Daniel, roll up and seal the words of these scrolls until the time of the end. Many will go here and there to increase knowledge. So this revelation now is being unfolded 2,600 years before it happened. Wow. So the benefits, uh, the type of benefits of wisdom Wisdom is a benefit, but the different type is health, an area of health, witty inventions, wealth, and the deep mysteries of God. So family, if this video has added value to your life, please like and share. And remember, those that know their God will do great exploits. All right, enjoy the rest of your Sabbath. Judah Jackson signing off. Peace out.